Hello students, welcome to the new lecture and in this lecture we are going to discuss about diverse world of life under the microscope. So what is meant by diverse world? Diverse means variation, okay, diverse means variation different types that is known as diverse. So diverse world of life under the microscope. In the last classes also in the previous chapters we have discussed that the micro microorganisms are different types. What are the microorganisms like uh, bacteria, okay, so bacteria fungi okay so viruses and so on there are different types of the microorganisms you will see in each every each and every type of microorganisms like bacteria or fungi or viruses and so on there are different types again different different types so that is known as diverse world of life under microscope so the microbial world and visible world around us are diverse even though if you see even the invisible microbial world and visible microbial uh, mic, uh, visible world around us they are diverse okay that we will discuss in this topic how they are diverse with the help of examples and also activities that we will discuss in this lecture okay so next first one is the finding variations what is meant by variations variation means the changes among the organisms of a same species that is known as variations Variations are changes among the organisms of spe same species that is known as variations. For example, if you see a dog, okay, if you see a dog, so dog has some characteristics. Dog has some structures like uh, tail, hair, uh, head, eye, eye color and so on. So now bring another dog, okay, another dog and compare these two dogs, the structures of these two dogs. Like if you compare between these two dogs, what will be there? You will see the tail is different, the uh, hair or fur will be different, ears will be different and so on. Even though dogs are same species, you will see the main few differences. So that is known as variation. The differences between these two dogs, these differences are known as variations. So this is the reason we are saying that the variations are the changes among the organisms of same species. Organisms means same species means the dog and both these dogs are same species even though they are same species there are some differences that is known as variations so there is an activity form five groups okay among in your class form five groups and prepare the table and observe the variations between two organisms any organisms you will take you may take animals you may take plants or anything so observe to observe the differences between two organisms of the same species so you will come to know about what are the changes between them that is known as variations so here is the variation in plants variation means the changes in the plants in the plants what changes you can see so in this activity collect two similar grasses okay go outside in the ground and in the ground collect two grasses and in the between two grass you will find some observations and observe the changes and list out the five differences and similarities okay that is the variations in plants next one will be the variations in animals in the animals also you can see variations just now we have discussed the two dogs okay so two dogs between the two dogs compare compare the differences you may take the same same breed of the dog in the breed you will see the main dif differences like uh, fur color, tail shape, tail length, uh, eye, and also ear structure, ear length and so on. So these differences between these two organisms are known as variations. Okay. So not only dog you can take any organism, any organisms you will compare both of bo between these two organisms you will see main differences. Those differences or changes are known as variations. Okay. So next, another activity, that is activity 4. In the activity 4, collect and observe your favorite cricketers. Okay, collect and observe the photographs of the your favorite cricketers and also observe and color, write your observations in your notebook. So uh, different cricketers of the different countries, like uh, different countries, you know that. So the cricketers belongs to different, different countries. So different, different countries means the climatic conditions will be different. Okay. India has certain type of climatic condition. America has certain type of climatic, climatic condition. Australia has certain type of climatic condition and so on. So if the climatic conditions are different, the, it will show some impact on these individuals or on these persons. So some, uh, some, uh, some cricketers have the fair skin. Some cricketers has a darker skin. Some cricketers are tall. Some are a little bit short and so on. 
so depending upon the climatic condition depending upon the upon their race and so on they are different so even though they are human beings even though all cricketers are human beings so some changes are there in them some changes are there in their body that is known as variations okay you will come to know if you clearly observe the uh, observe the photograph of all cricketers and write your observations in your notebook you will come to know what are the changes how they are how they how they have certain kind of changes and so on so do this activity and write your observations in your notebook okay so differences are the variations between two organisms that lead to the biodiversity so this biodiversity is also known as biological diversity it means the changes the changes between the organisms of the same species or organisms of two different uh, organisms of a same species that is known as biodiversity so next the case study of the forest at ramagundam so this is about uh, uh, a forest that is in the ramagundam if you see the ramagundam around 60 to 70 years back this ramagundam was a beautiful forest beautiful forest which rich heritage of the wildlife example this forest had leopards tigers deer cobras and also different types of reptiles amphibians etc everything so what happened to this ramagundam this ramagundam in the ramagundam there was a, a some changes for going changes was going on that is nothing but establishment of thermal plant so thermal plant is nothing but a energy production uh, factory like thing okay thermal plant means by using coal okay by using coal this coal is burnt okay so by burning coal what will happen some amount of heat will be released so that heat will be used to boil the uh, water and that steam will be produced that steam is used to produce the electricity okay used to produce the electricity so this is the process that is done in the ramagundam forest so what happened so by setting up this thermal plant there was a huge damage to the forest the forest were cut down and roads were laid and also buildings were constructed and so on there are many many human activities are going on so due to these human activities so the pl the plant due to this thermal plant and also laying of roads buildings etc and so on so there was damage to the forest as a result if the forest is damaged what will happen the animals will go away so they will move to another another places some uh, some uh, animals will die and so on so these were all damage occurred to that uh, forest okay this forest extends the borders of the manchurial it is a uh, very closest to closer to the ramagundam borders and this manchurial once it was known as tigers valley why because the tigers were used to present in that area but nowadays hardly you can see a tiger or a lion and so on so this was the such kind of damage is occurred in that region okay some areas of the forest are inhabited by few animals like cobras deer peacocks etc so but most of the animals are went from that place due to that damage and you can see very very less number of animals like cobras deer peacocks etc in that region so why because due to the damage to the biodiversity and due to the damage to the forest so this is the uh, disaster that has been occurred over there due to the human activities okay next the endangered species endangered species are nothing but this species has some kind of threat so these endangered species are nothing but these are the warning signal about the declining number of a particular species which is about to extinct in the near future for example let us consider 100 peacocks are there okay previously 1000 peacocks were, peacocks were there so what happened due to the human activities the 1000 peacocks in that particular region has decreased to 100 okay so 100 peacocks and so on 100 to 50 okay 50 to 10 and so on so can you see the number is decreasing number is decreasing over a period of time why this number is decreasing let us consider due to the human activities so then you will keep the peacocks okay so then you will consider this peacocks decreasing population as endangered species why because after some time after few years or after few months so complete peacock species is going to get eliminated from the earth okay there is no peacocks after few years this is an example so not only peacock if any species is in this procedure 
okay go to extinct that is known as endangered species so this endangered species is nothing but a warning signal about the declining number of a particular species can you see here the number is declining from the thousand to ten so the number is declining so it is known as endangered species it is a threat to extinct extinct is nothing but completely wipe out from the earth okay that is known as extinct okay so here is the a small topic that is data of endangered species so endangered species before the end discussing this we have to discuss the two important uh, terms like wwf icw iuwc and wwf means worldwide federation ic iuwc means international union for wildlife conservation so these are the two important things so they published i uh, wwf and also i iuwc these international unions the wildlife conservation and wildlife federation they published a book containing the details of endangered species and threatened species of flora and fauna so here we are discussing the endangered endangered means what they are about to extinct from the earth threatened means their population is under the threat and they will die after some time that is known as threatened species species means the similar similar animals example peacocks are the similar species okay all peacocks are same type so they are known as a species so species of flora and fauna we are using the term flora flora means the plants fauna means animals okay so here they published a book in that book it has a details about the flora and fauna which are about to extinct and which are about which are endangered and threatened species okay so this book whatever the book they published that book is known as red data book okay so that is known as red data book this book symbolizes the warning signal about the endangered species that are needed to be protected if it is not protected if if we are not going to protect them they will be likely to book, likely to become extinct in the near future it means in the future you will don't see such kind of organisms on the planet why because due to the human activities and due to the human creel activities they are going to extinct or they will die completely okay so this is a table shows some kind of endangered species of flora and fauna okay flora means plants okay flora means plants and fauna means animals in this table you can see the flora like orchids sandalwood trees cycas and also rapolia and uh, serpentiana and so on these all are the plants they are able to completely endangered and also they are going ready to extinct due to the human activities so next is the animals like fauna they are leopards indian lion and also indian wolf or red fox etc these are the different plant different animals and different plants they are able to extinct due to the human activities okay and i hope this lecture is helpful to you and if you have any doubts if you have any doubts or uh, questions or suggestions so feel free to post in the comment section so that we will reply to your questions and uh, we will answer to you okay and we will discuss the next topic in the next lecture okay